Peter Chang here for Macho Cave and in this clip we're actually at part 10 of our DIY case build and in part 10 we're going to go ahead and remove two front panel case screws that hold in the front bezel bay and here we're removing the one from the left side and here's actually the one screw that gives us access to the right panel of the bezel bay and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install in a Blu-ray burner. What's great about Blu-ray is that it's a very high definition format. It uh, holds a lot of uh, content. And all we need to do to remove this front bezel bay is just to pop it out from the back once those two case screws are removed. And it's just that simple. So I tend to have a tendency to insert my DVDs or Blu-rays or burnable CDs at the very top bay and then I have a tendency to insert in any kind of reader devices in the uh, secondary and third and bays. The drive we're going to go ahead and install today is actually a Blu-ray writer and I chose one by Sony uh, just because uh, Sony has been such a huge pioneer in terms of uh, Blu-ray development and if you remember like the format wars they used to be been like HD DVD um, once again like Pioneer does make a really good uh, Blu-ray disc player but uh, I just decided to side with Sony with this taste so it's just really just taste and just kind of personal preference but LG also makes a great one uh, and so does uh, uh, Plexter as well. Plexter actually makes a very fast Blu-ray burner as well. So here's some of the contents of the of the items. We're just going to go ahead and unpackage it. And Sony actually packages uh, the Blu-ray burner quite well. So we're just kind of like uh, taking everything out of the plastic shrink wrap there. And here's the uh, SATA ports and the uh, powered port as well. So we're going to go ahead and move the case over and we'll just slide it straight in into the top bay here. So when you slide in the, the drive into the very top bay, uh, you just need to make sure that the drive is remains relatively flat. So when you when you uh, try to align it with the drive bay, it's uh, everything fits in nice and slug and you just need to make sure that the drive remains relatively flat with respect to the case. So you just need to screw in two case panel screws and here we go, here's screw number one and generally when you're screwing in the first screw you're just kind of screwing in just for positioning. Uh, you may not want to tighten it too much uh, I would suggest maybe putting in all four screws, so just put in two screws on each side and then coming back and tightening up the case to make sure that uh, the drive remains relatively flat. Uh, the reason why I want the drive to remain relatively flat is that uh, if, if there's any kind of buckling or any kind of warping, uh, the drive gets a little bit tilted and then tilted drives generally don't really burn discs formats really well. Like you might have like a lot of bad uh, Blu-ray discs or if you burn DVDs you might have like a lot of badly burnt uh, DVD discs as well too. So if you do have a computer that is giving you a lot of bad burns uh, you may just want to just you know physically just examine the the way that the uh, the drive the burner drive is actually uh, installed into the case. If there's like a kind of a sloping edge, you may want to it's you may want to just go ahead and pop open the case and just uh, make sure that everything is lies relatively flat. So at this point, uh, not much to do here other than uh, just inserting in your case screws, and you're pretty much all done. And just remember, uh, it doesn't need to be a a, a Blu-ray drive. Uh, burner. Uh, it, it could be just a, a DVD reader uh, or it could be uh, even a, a CD reader as well. Uh, this is a system that you're building for yourself so you could actually uh, upgrade it as you go. So you could actually 
maybe you, if you're if you're strapped for cash, you could just install a a uh, DVD reader in here, and you could generally get one for like about uh, sixteen dollars, so it doesn't break the bank at all. But either way, uh, expensive or cheap drive uh, installation is exactly the same way. So I'm finishing up my third screw here and I'm just gonna go ahead and install the fourth screw and that pretty much finishes installing the blu-ray burner and I just wanted to say thanks a lot for watching this video and I just want you to also remember that uh, everything matters so just take a little time when you're building your computer a little bit of craftsmanship goes a long way with your DIY computer build.